how do rules get made? How do conflicts get resolved? Things like that. It's a really important point that you bring up. And what we talk about a lot here is, yeah, the freedom, but also the responsibility. And mm-hmm. um, also the, the community is based heavily on trust and, you know, trust and responsibility. So the, the school meeting is, as with most democratic schools, all democratic schools, the school is run by the student body and the staff body together. And mm-hmm. we all join twice a week, depending on the school, obviously your frequency of meetings, but essentially all of those members of the community are members of the school meeting. And that's the governing body of the school. It's a, it's a, um, it's the body, I suppose, that holds the power. And everybody, whether you're five or 50 or whatever age you are, has a right to an opinion and a right to vote at that meeting. So it's non-hierarchical from that point of view. So all the decisions that are made, so if a student have an idea to bring something, to bring some change about in the school, or they didn't like one of the processes that had been brought in, or anything at all, they bring a proposal. They can bring either a verbal or a written proposal to the school meeting. And it gets discussed by all the members present and we either then agree to, to implement it or we agree not to, or we might go back to the, you know, back to the person and discuss it further and say, well, you know, it's a great idea, but you know, there's these parameters or whatever things need to be shifted a little bit before we can agree to implement that. So it's a conversational approach. It's, um, it's you know, we all communicate with each other in, in a respectful way and, and listen to each other, yeah, in a respectful way. And then we make decisions together as a, as a community. Yeah, so that's the decision-making process. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.